Okay, so I'm here at a new location that I've never been before. It's the furthest south I've ever been to shoot astrophotography. It's Ga Galloway Forest Park, which is quite far south, near the borders, pretty much further south than, uh, <coughs> than Glasgow. So, yeah, I've never ever been here before. It's a lot of just moorland and that, that's why I'd never really have came here before. But there's a few reasons why I'm here tonight is, well, one, I've never been before and I'm glad when I want to capture the Milky Way here, which is quite good. There's high aurora tonight as well, so we might get some aurora, and which is weird because traveling south to get aurora is just weird. But the main reason is I might be filming for uh, TV, so I might be going on to TV soon. I arrived during the day just to look around the area because I've never been before, look at the different locks and what the landscape looks like during the day because when darkness comes, it's completely pitch black here. This is like a certified national park for dark skies. So there'll be no light pollution, hopefully. So I'm excited to get some Milky Way, maybe some Aurora, and hopefully on the TV too. So pretty much only halfway to the location. I just stopped here to rest my back because it's quite a, a long journey. It's about three hours. So I'll take the camera back out when I'm at the location for all the photographing tonight. Another wee addition to my kit is I've got a roof box now to store all my stuff. So I think my car looks pretty cool now. Look at that, nice black with a nice roof box. So as I said before, I've arrived so much earlier um, to the Galloway Forest Park because I'm scouting the locations for tonight. So when I'm filming for the TV, that's gonna be early in the night, so I don't have to worry about where I can am for that because there's nothing really in the sky for the night. But if the aurora does kick off, I've chosen this location. A clear view north over this lock. I'm not sure what the lock's called, but I'll pop it up now. But it's a nice clean her clean northern horizon, and that's only two minutes away from the location. So I'm going to head around to this point over there, and hopefully that'll give me a good southwest view for the Milky Way. So Aurora here, and then hopefully I'll go over there just now and see if there's a place for the Milky Way. There we go, so that's the view southeast. I was just over there for the Aurora facing this way. So hopefully for the Milky Way, I'll be obviously shooting that way. So that's the location's done. Now we just have to wait for darkness. So I'm in location and I'm just waiting for darkness, as I said. So I just decided to jump up this little hill and look at the nice view we've got. You can see the wee, a wee well, a lock down there. My car down there. But yeah, it's quite a nice, quite a nice view here. I might come back here and get the, mil the Milky Way in the autumn because the, the Milky Way in the autumn would go, come straight down here. So it's good to kind of scout locations during the day. And it's nice and mild. Cool. So that's me finished with uh, doing the TV stuff. And uh, that went really well. So now it's about midnight and there's not much to shoot in the night sky. As you can see behind me, Orion's set and Taurus and Pleiades, they're sort of setting. So there's not much to shoot just now. The, the zodiacal light as well was out and I could kind of actually see it with the naked eye, which was awesome because we're in such pitch black skies. Uh, but unfortunately I was busy uh, doing whatever so I didn't have time to capture the zodiacal light. So I'm just going to jump in the car now as well and go to the other side of this lock and shoot southeast because the Milky Way is due to rise in about three hours. So hopefully get some nice crystal clear dark skies with the Milky Way in the Galloway Forest Park that'll look so cool. So I'm very, very looking forward to capturing the Milky Way. We also saw Elon Musk's um, line of satellites as well. That was awesome. And we got the International Space Station as well. We saw some fireballs, brilliant night, just a brilliant stargazing night here in the Galloway Forest Park. So next stop is the Milky Way and I'll see you in about three hours. Oh yeah and unfortunately the Northern Lights haven't really came out tonight and they've just they've just not came out.
right, so we are under the Galloway Forest, the dark skies now, the Milky Way is over there and I'm just going to set up a time lapse now and capture the Milky Way rising. It's absolutely freezing. <laughs> I kid you not, well it must be minus something, minus three or something because it's, I don't know, I can just tell it's freezing. Set up my tripod, set up a time lapse and leave it for about three hours. Here we go. Oh. There's a wee bit of a wind chill that I didn't expect as well. So that's just thrown a bit of a spanner in the works. So for the time lapse I'll use 20mm 1.8. That's pretty much my go-to. Sorry if I'm blinding you. My go-to time lapse workhorse, just because it's good quality and nice and wide open as well. So I'm going to shoot, obviously, into the southeast. Nice and secure. Bulb. Intervalometer. Which is somewhere there. I'm going to do ISO 2500, 20 seconds at f1.8 and I'll just leave this running until dawn pretty much. Probably about 3 o'clock now in the morning so I'll probably get 2 hours worth of this which will leave me about 20 seconds worth of footage. Hand warmer, got an elastic band. This will go around the, the lens to prevent uh, the fog and all the frost and all that. And away it goes. Right, I'll come back in about three hours to see how the time lapse is doing. Good. As I always say as well, time like lapses are great for photography because you get a time lapse, you'll get a star trail and you get stacked exposures as well so it's kind of a best in both worlds to so just do a time lapse all the time and you get so much content for it. Cool, we'll leave that. Let's get other pictures. Oh, okay. <laughs> It is bloody cold actually. It's, there's just a bit of a north wind wind chill. Oh, excuse me, put that down. But yeah, there's a north wind wind chill and it is really cold actually. So this is going to be quite a, a cold night for the hands. But yeah, I've got the time lapse set up as I've shown and I'm going to get a 360 panorama because I've got a brilliant location that I can see the whole horizon and the Milky Way core, you could probably see it over my shoulder just there. Uh, is uh, looking really really bright through the cameras so I'll get the 360 and then probably just start doing the panoramas when the core's a wee bit higher and something I don't normally do but I've got it with me so I might have a go of it is the you know the sky tracker so I've got the ioptron uh, I was just showing the guys from um, the filming earlier on but I might give it a go because it's something I can see the north star so I may as well try a wee bit of tracking and get some really cool detail in, in the Milky Way but I don't know, that's not my type of uh, kind of picture but I might give it a go because I've got plenty of time so I'll get this 360 first and then I'll muck about with panoramas but yeah, what a night, this is definitely very dark skies there's more detail in the core that I can see already than I've seen before so looking forward to seeing how these pictures turn out Scotland in the Galloway Forest Park and just look at the Milky Way behind me. You can just see it with the naked eye. 
but I can vividly see with the naked eye, I can even film it on camera. So that's the light starting to come now from the east. You can just start to see it over the horizon. But yeah, that's the night pretty much over now. Lovely twilight colours coming now. But yeah, what a night. Absolutely fantastic. So, so dark. Right, that'll do for the time lapse, I think. That's twilight coming now. So. Oh, oh, you can still make out the Milky Way on the pictures with the twilight colours. But that's pretty much it for the day, for the night. Oh, can't wait to get these pictures on the laptop because the skies are just so dark. But 300 images, so 300 images, 24 frames per second. 12. 12 seconds, so all that, about 3 hours worth of footage for uh, 12 seconds, but then I'll slow it down so it'll turn into about 20 seconds. But this time lapse is going to be really cool, and I get stacked pictures as well, and I get a star trail. Cool. Right, let's pack away. So I think that's the night done now, that's the twilight coming. I'm kind of cold, but I'm so happy that everything's gone to plan and it's just a great night. Galloway, 10 out of 10, the, st the dark skies are just phenomenal. That is the clearest Milky Way I've ever seen. Um, that was just, yeah, really, really good. So pretty, probably one of the best nights under the stars I've had for a very, very long time. Did the filming for the TV and then saw just the, the best Milky Way I've probably ever seen. So I'll obviously put up all the pictures on the video and I'll show you all the settings that I've, that I've captured. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everything on the camera, on the laptop, sorry. But yeah, I'll kind of set up and probably go for a kip in the car 
because I've been non-stop going for the whole night. So yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.